So where are we today? Clearly there are questions that face a family with SMA. Uh, what's the best diet for your child? Does it differ between type one, type two, and type three? What's the best respiratory intervention? When to start CPAP, how to administer it? Orthopedic interventions are something we haven't discussed. What, what is the appropriate oper operation? When should it be done? These are real central basic issues which face these families and ones that fight SMA in their panels and where appropriate research funding hope to resolve with you. But there is tremendous hope for optimism. The last two decades has seen enormous progress. We know the SMN1 gene causes SMA. We know the protein that it makes is SMN. We know where it lives within the motor neuron and we increasingly know what it does. Critically, we know that depressed levels of this SMN are what causes SMA and therefore, raising those levels back up again will be an appropriate treatment. There are two means of doing this which hold true promise, we believe. One is the drug induced use of the so-called SMN2 gene. Work funded by Fight SMA as well as other agencies has shown a variety of drugs, some of them FDA approved, which does this robustly in the mouse model. The question is which one or which combination of drugs do this best in the mouse model and therefore are the ones to take forward to clinical trials. We hope, working with other agencies and our researchers, to enable a benchmarking of these drugs, uh, pharmacologic agents, identifying those that need to be trialed initially. The hope is in the next three years this will be achieved. On the other hand, in addition to drug inducement induction of SMN is gene therapy. Fight SMA funded lentil viral approach was really the pioneering work in gene therapy for SMA. Work by Dr. Brian Casper and others has shown, based on pioneering research funded by Fight SMA, that the gene vector known as AAV can replete or increase SMN levels dramatically in motor neurons in mouse models, virtually curing the disease. The next question is, can this be done in primates? Can enough of it be made, and is it a safe approach? Thus, on the one hand with drugs, on the other with gene uh, therapy, the expectation is over the next three to five years a, a viable uh, therapeutic alternative will be identified. Of course, this relies upon the infrastructure for the, the clinical trials being present. Work that Fight SMA and others have done so tirelessly for co the Congressional Act for, S for SMA will ensure that there's the appropriate infra infrastructure for the clinical trials to take place. Finally, in a perfect world, the ability to identify SMA in babies before they develop the symptoms would be a, a marvelous thing. Uh, once again, there's work occurring both in our center in Ottawa as well as that of Tom Pryor where uh, newborn screenings are being piloted. It's the hope in the next two to three years, universal newborn screening for SMA will be a reality. Thanks very much for spending the time with us here on the web, and we look forward to entertaining your further questions as well as joining you in the fight against SMA. Thank you.